All right, how are you guys? Today we'll be talking about perpendicular and angle bisectors. So some interesting stuff to go with here. Okay, uh, so first off, we're going to talk about equidistant. Uh, we'll save distance from a point to a line later. Okay, but basically, uh, a thing that is really kind of cool about perpendicular lines is that when you know it's a perpendicular bisector, you know you are cutting the line in half or the segment in half, depends on what you're talking about. But also at the same time, you know that w however far up you go, you know that those two sides are also going to be congruent. They're also going to be equidistant. Okay, and so if you take a look at this, you know that these two triangles, uh, as long as you're dealing with a perpendicular bisector, uh, you have just created two congruent triangles. And the reason why these two triangles are congruent is because of HL, okay, which is the hypotenuse and leg of one triangle being congruent with the hypotenuse leg of another triangle. Therefore, those two right triangles are actually congruent. So that's some really cool stuff just to work from this. And you can go the reverse as long as you know that these two triangles are congruent. You know that uh, this is a perpendicular bisector. That also works out as well. Okay, so that's some just some interesting facts. Now, also, some of you guys are probably going, oh, wait, Mr. Danny, didn't you say that when you have two triangles connected that you use reflexive to represent that that side is also congruent to itself? Yes. And so because of that, I can also say, okay, this angle, these two have to be the same. So we work with it that way. Now, another thing is, too, uh, that we could use on top of this. Let me get some, let's get some red in here. Okay, is this is also an isosceles triangle, so that means these two angles are congruent. Okay, all right, and since we know those two are congruent, and we also know that these two triangles are congruent, we know that these two are also congruent. Okay, and that makes these two the same, and since they're perpendicular, it's going to be 90 degrees. Okay, so that's some really cool stuff that you can go with this. Now, also, what we can do. is you can branch off and use an angle bisector to help yourself out. Now if you are using an angle bisector, here's some really cool facts that you can use for it. Okay, An angle bisector, when you end up doing it, you can actually create some congruent segments. Okay, and so basically when you're dealing with perpendicular, or I'm sorry, angle bisectors, in other words, you're bisecting an angle, so let's say that our angle bisector looked like this, uh, D and B. Okay, that was set up like this, and here's A and C, so that uh, DB bisected angle ABC. These two segments, any point on this line that you pick, so let's say we pick a point here, Okay, if we pick a point here, this point will also be equidistant from the two sides. It's really cool how it works. Okay, so this measurement is also going to be equidistant. Now, it's not going to be the same as the first, obviously, but these two points will always be equidistant from it. So that's a cool property that actually comes from this. Okay, now remember in your algebra, you guys are going to have to set them up equal. So if this was 2x and this here was uh, 4x minus 14, okay? You would have to set it up as 2x equals 4x minus 14, and then solve it from there. So this would turn into uh, negative 2x equals negative 14, and then you would divide it, and you would find x is to be 7. Okay, so some sort of pretty simple stuff with perpendicular and angle bisectors. We'll learn more about those in a little bit, okay? All right, but that's it for now. Just remember you're dealing still with congruent triangles and just knowing that as long as you've got a perpendicular bisector, you can actually do that. And the distance from a point to a line is going to be equidistant on the angle bisector. So that's some really cool information you can use for your tool set in the future. All right, thank you very much and have a great day.